breathing, reaching the arms all the way up, exhale down to the side. Let's try that again, everybody, lifting all the way up and coming down. Okay, one more time, reaching the arms all the way up and let it go. Feet together as you work your way down in top of those lower limbs, ankles, the calf muscles and finally into the leg area. We've got some low impact exercises for you today, some traveling patterns. So if you've got anything close by to where you're standing right now, do move them out of the way. Furniture, rugs more importantly. So clear your floor space, have a sense of space around you so you've got lots and lots of room to travel through. Down we come, so we warm your body up, stepping out with the right foot, sinking. Track the knees over your toes. All right, let's change legs now. So step the right behind the left, take your body weight with you, push and push. Return the feet back to the center. Start to add the arms up and lift. It's a little bit of a punch here. Settling your shoulders down. Now take the legs out wide. Start to increase the intensity of the workout and get those leg muscles involved in the exercises. Side to side, we go off to the right. Pushing. Keep the arms a little bit short. Just concentrate on the legs and turn the body for eight. Swing it. Side to side. Here we go. Come on. Punch and punch. Start to swing the arms now. Let it travel along the side. Not too high. Over we go. Feel your weight shifting from right to left. Now I want you to move yourself just a little bit over to the right side of the room. We're gonna do three pushes like this, and then a little grapevine working our way to the left and repeat the whole thing again. Not yet. Are you ready? Here it comes. One, two, grapevine, go. Stay here, push. Grapevine to the right again, over we go. Travel, up and reach and sink it. Two, three. Over we go, lift it. Try that again, stretch it up. All right, everybody, a couple of more times. Roll the arms now. Again, please do this one more to the right. Step and push and push. Last time over, get ready for a step touch when you come back. Here we go, step and lift. Hands settling on top of those hips. Now give me a curl with a clapping of the hands for eight counts. Are you ready to try that little combo again? Swing the arms three times. One, two, travel to the left. Do it here. Back to the right. <laughs> Push. And then when you come back, get ready for a step touch. Hands go on the hips. Stay here for eight. Widen up the legs. Do four more. Step tap. Now curl the legs and clap those hands. Don't stop moving. Ready, the first combo again. Arms go up, reach. Travel, please. Push up and travel again. A little high from those arms. Travel again, push. Ready for a step touch, hands on the hips now. Four times only. Now straight into those curls. Up, up, step touch again, hands on the hips. Swing it wide. Now curl it, push. All right, combo again from the top. Listen carefully. One, two, three. Step touch here. Four for four. And five, six. Now you do your curls with a clap. Step curl. Come on, get those legs up high. First combination. Arms go up for three, two, treble. Step touch. Hold. Now straight into your curls with a clap. And hold it right here as you move your body back into your squats. Let your feet find its way back to the center and take yourself into a march. Move yourself away from the front. Chasse forward, march back. Move it back. Do it again. Chasse, chasse. So it's two little quick hops. Come on, push, push, and move it to the back. Two more. Press and press. Last time, over we go. Good. Take a march right where you are. Take a breath in. Step curl with the arms coming into the body. Work your weight from side to side. Come on, push and push. Easy walk on the right leg. Four of these. Do one, two. Now we're gonna do six curls only. So this one, two, three, four, five. Easy walk, do six curls again. And that's what I want you to practice throughout the break. When we come back, straight into the routine. Again, woo!
Coming forward with the right leg, pushing your left leg behind the body as we do a quick stretch into the calf muscle. Start to bring the arms up, settle over here and switch sides. So push that heel to the ground, stabilize the trunk, reach, coming down. And again, lengthening all the way up and down. Let's do one more big breath, breathing out as you move yourself into a march. Now, instead of the easy walk, we're gonna substitute the easy walk for double curl. So we'll do six singles and a double curl. All right, we'll just go from right to left and practice that little combo. Fresh. Relax the arms, everybody, pushing through. Are you ready? Six single curls first. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, double on this side. And six, five, four, three, two, one double at the claps. One, two, three, four, five, six, double hold. Do it again for six. Five, four, three, two, double hold. Do it again. I'm gonna add a directional change with the singles. Do two more singles. One double. Now stay where you are. This becomes a U shape on the next set around. Then you come back to do your doubles. U shape to the right. So we go right, step, turn to the left corner. Now do a double and then turn the whole thing to the left corner. Big steps, everybody. Work your feet out wide and turn the U shape. Now, instead of the claps, let's pull the arms in and only clap on the double hand. Hold it. Now pull the arms in on the single. And then you clap on the double. Practice one more time to the right. Work the arm strong. U shape again. Now double clap. Last one on the left corner, push. One more over here, so you're constantly pivoting. All right, hold it right here, squat hold. How did that go? You're gonna really work your body weight down. When you come out of the double curl, we're gonna execute an easy walk. So get yourself ready, we'll practice it here. Step the feet together, easy walk. <laughs> That was a nice change. <laughs> Very graceful. <laughs> Sinking down. Whoa. And five, six. Single curls, guys. Pull. Do a double clap. Easy walk on the left leg. That felt good. One more. All right, single curl to the left corner. U shape. Woo. Keep turning. Now double curl, easy, well done, again, let's practice that one more time, single curl, pull, get your arms involved in the exercise, double up with a clap, easy walk four times, do two more, ready, off you go again, curl, come on, keep those legs working hard, double up, now easy walk, Instead, do next time, do two mambos and then two easy walks. Let's try that again. Curl. Pull the arms in. Show me a double. Mambo twice on the left leg. Do one more and then two easy walks. Good job. Curl. Pull the arms in. Really feel yourself lifting out of those shoes. Double up. Two mambos. One mambo here. Pivot on the second one, straight into the easy walk. Curl it, pull it tight, get the arms involved, double up, one mambo. Pivot to the right, do two easies, sinking down, last time over to the corner, here we go. Whoop, come back June. <laughs> double up, one basic mambo. Option to pivot, two easies, we're gonna go marching forward. Here it comes. Start to raise the legs up. Move it to the back. Keep your trunk directly above the hips so you're not leaning your body away from the front. Press through. One more time. Ready from the top. Single curl. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double up. One mambo. Option to pivot. Do two easy walks. March forward. Right leg up high, left leg. Keep practicing those marches, everybody, don't stop. Press through. One more forward, last one back, 
Single curl now. Pull. Pull the body up. Double. One mambo. Pivot turn if you want. Easy walk twice. And then we're going to march forward. Well done, everybody. Now have a little bit of a break. March on the spot, a little sip of water. When we come back, we'll pick up from where we left off. Legs out nice and wide, begin to really stretch out through the arms and then come back down and rotate the arms going round the other way, lifting it all the way up. Stretch long and strong along the side of the body, take a breath in over to this corner. Come back to the center, picking up on the pace of the march routine again. All right, let's repeat those little combos together, pressing it through. We'll just stay with it for a couple of more minutes and I'll begin to wind your body down. Hold up nice and tall. Pull that tummy in. Good. Hang in there, everybody, after the set of count. And another four more. So we start with our U shape turn, curl step. Off you go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, double up. Mambo. One, pivot turn if you want. Easy walk on the left leg. Now marching forward. Now instead of picking up the knee, we're going to simply tap the foot to the outside of the body. Swing your arms, long strides coming from your legs. So really work the legs out as long as you comfortably can. Good, do four more like this. One, take it back. One more there and back, get ready to go from the beginning. U shape, here we go. One, two, three, turn right around, five, double curl up, mambo step. Pivot if you want to, easy walk, sinking down, marching forward. Tap the foot to the outside of the body and stay with this one. As you just focus on your strides, go again, really march along. Power march. Come on, again. Hold that tummy tight. Do four more like this. One more to go there and back. Right, combination again. Curl step to the right. Really lift the late. Take a double curl. Mambo left side. Pivot if you want to. Easy walk, sink your weight down, marching. Come to the front, tap the right leg out, left leg. And again, body stays up nice and tall. Focus on your strides in this section. Two more there and back. Let's finish it off, curl step, go again. Feel the body weight shifting from one side to the other. Double up, and mambo pivot turn. Easy, sink it down. Marching to the front, this is it now. Tap the leg out. Do it again, please. Long through the leg, body stays up while the legs are sinking down. One more there and back. Good job, everyone. All right, come back, take a breath. Shake the arms out. Softening up into your feet, just a strong, simple march in position. I'm gonna get you to stay with this for a few moments as you just go through your recovery. And then we'll finish off with some sliding leg movement. Hands sitting on the hips. Take a breath or two. How are your legs feeling? Move yourself over to the left side of the room. Stay steady. Press and press, holding it right here. And what I want to do is step slide to the side. We go out, drag the leg in. Okay, easy does it. Sink your weight down. And it's the inner foot that's dragging it along, engaging the muscles of the inner thighs. Push long and push across. Push long and push across. Two more. One more each way, take it across. Come back to your marches again. Get a breath in, breath out. Let's try that one again. Are you ready? Step, slide. Sinking across. Just keep your arms simple, no movement. Just have them settling down on top of your thighs. Do one more across. Last one to your left and march yourself back into the center. Good, hands me on the hips. Finish off with a little bit of a kick there to the front of the room. If you want to lift the leg up, that's fine. Otherwise, just keep it fairly low impact all the way through. All right, arms go down, working it forward. There you go. Can we do a little bit of a cross pattern here? 
So one leg pushes out in front, otherwise it's just a simple straightforward push. Arms kept close by the side of the body. Good job throwing those hips out, sinking down into the opposite knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take a march, hold here. Okay, we're gonna try that one again, so prepare your arms. Ready, straight forward heel kicks now. Come down with the arms. And five, six, now let's do the crossover. Here we go, to the left corner, right. Pressing down, hold the body up. Another set to go, hang in there. Good job, push and push and push. Take a march and a breather. That completes the low impact section. After this, we've got some stretching to go through. So keep yourself warmed up. A Little bit of movement still coming out of your body. When we return, we'll greet you down on the floor with some floor stretches. down onto your knees. We'll start with the hip flexor stretch. So once again, cushioning underneath the knee or a towel and just lying that forward knee up above your heel or the ankle joint. Stay steady there, everybody. Just go, don't go too deep into the stretch just yet. Just feel, let it feel its way through it. Take a breath or two. Okay, now we're gonna tuck the toes underneath the back foot, lift the body up. And what I want you to do is your left leg's out in front. Take your right arm, cross it over here. Just have a bit of a twisting stretch at the same time. And then turn the body back to its original position. Come down, we're gonna switch the position of the legs. So right goes in front, angle the hip down, keep the body low to allow yourself to work into the stretch of the hips. Okay, now tuck the toes into the back foot. Prepare yourself to come out of the stretch and go into the next level, crossing the left arm over the leg. A little bit of a turn there, very strong into the section here. Take care, if it's too strong for you, please come out of the stretch immediately and go back to your previous stretch. Turn the whole body back to the front, come down with the hands, knees joining together as you allow yourself to sit back and stretch your arms forward, bringing the forehead down to the floor. Give your lower back a lovely stretch in this position. Good. And then come out of the stretch. Now your legs come apart for this next one. It's a rotational stretch. Your hips remain square to the floor, so everything's pointing down like headlights. You're gonna move your left hand underneath the middle of the chest area and swing the right arm up towards the ceiling as far as it can go back. Turn the body, come down and do the other side. Stretch it all the way up. If you need to widen the position of the knees, do so. As long as you're very comfortable, you can get yourself into a good rotation. Come back down again. So let's try that one more time. Now, if you find that the shoulder muscles, your shoulder muscles are quite stiff, your option is maybe the hand that you're leaning into, let it turn out a little bit so that just opens the shoulders up. Stretch out. So perhaps your legs are a bit wider now. And let's feel the difference in the stretch. Okay, coming down, let's try it on this side. Take it up and over. Oh, it's a great one to do. Really feel it in that back area, coming down now. Right, now we're going to stretch out the muscles in the back of the shoulder. What I want you to do is take your right arm, swing it out to the side. We're gonna thread it through. Lie that shoulder down on the ground, but keep the bottom lifted, the head resting on the floor. And then come out of the stretch. Do the same with the left arm. Up we go, thread it through, lie down through the head, the back of that shoulder. And coming out of the stretch, I'm going to get you to lie down on your back now. We're going to work the stretches into the hamstring muscle. Start with the leg straight up, catching the back of your thigh muscle, settle the head to the floor, and just stretch out into the back of the leg. Lower back stays flat. Shoulders soft, take a breath or two. Really work on extending the leg up to the ceiling. Big long stretch, point the ankle and the foot and let it come down. Let's do the other side now, stretch it up, pulling it in. Feel a lovely stretch working to the back of the leg. 
Good, as you pull your knees into the chest, give your lower back a bit of a stretch, catching the back of your thigh. And then work one leg down to the ground as you hold on to the other knee. Get that upper hip stretching itself again. Change sides, pulling down. Now feet together, rotational stretch, target the hips, lower back and across the chest muscles. Arms go out wide, drop the legs over to one side, but focus yourself up to the ceiling. Down we come. Breathing into the center and breathing out as we work our way to the other corner. Stretching it out and over. Come back to the center, let's try that one more time everyone. Draw the navel deep into the spine, narrowing into the waistline. Good, and then come back over. Now just a quick reminder, we haven't stretched out your calf muscles, your ankles, and the muscles along the front of the legs. They had a tremendous amount of work done to them today. So remember the calf muscles, your ankles, and the front of the thighs. So just stretch those muscles out. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you for your next workout. Bye-bye.